Hey there, it's Caleb at homeschool-curriculum.org. Today's question, or today's statement, is homeschooling children who learn differently than you do. A parent writes in, my biggest challenge is one strong-willed six-year-old boy who learns much differently than I do. My other son is very much like me and learns easily. I have to learn how to teach very different learners and personalities, all while being new to homeschooling. So think about that. We have in this household, right? We have one child. Things are going pretty well. You know, it's just, you know, we work together and it works out. But we have this other child. Somehow it's just not working out. That, that child, is, they have some preferences or some opinions about what they should be doing or how they want to do things. And they're six years old. Well, we've been there before, right? All of us have had times where our children haven't liked what we're doing and haven't really provided, you know, help on it. It might even be kind of a conflict in our household. You know, we're stressed about this, we're arguing over it. The first thing, the first thing, and I believe this is true for homeschooling, is that if it's a conflict, it has to be resolved. Because we're not doing this to have tension in our household and stress in our household. We're doing this because we want the freedom, the flexibility in our lives. And if we can't achieve that, we can't get to that solution, then we have to change it somehow. But let's go back to ways we might be able to get to a solution before we make any drastic changes about our homeschooling decision. The first one is if that six-year-old is strong enough to, to assert his opinions and beliefs about what he should be doing or what's right or wrong, then he needs to be strong enough to provide suggestions and solutions that might help him to do what it is that needs to be done. Remember, this is work that needs doing. It, this is his education, and he needs to provide a solution if he's not going to go along on the plan that we as parents have created for him. Now, how can that happen? You might say, look, I've got three options here, right? And we could use the example of math. We could do this curriculum, that curriculum, or that curriculum. Or, you know what, we could do math for 20 minutes now and 20 minutes later. Or, I'll tell you what, I could hire a tutor to come in and do math with you. Or maybe there's a homeschool co-op that you go and say, I'll take, I'll take you here and you can do math with some other kids your age. There are all sorts of solutions that can work in the homeschooling sphere. And you might provide some of the options and allow your son to choose or help to select from them. Or, you know, you might just say, look, if you can't help, if you can't choose from any of those options, now we're going to have to change other things. And that might mean having him go out and look at some different schools to see if there might be a different way for him to achieve that and help him to choose what school is best for him. But again, at the, the fundamental, the base of all of this is that that conflict has to be resolved because it's not meant to be stressful and tense for anyone in the household. It's a place of joy, learning, and love, and sometimes we just need some time apart if we can't figure out how to learn together. We discuss all of this and more in my course, The Three-Hour School Day. We go through routines, we go through how to develop self-managed learners, self-led learners, including some tips and tricks about how you can really ramp up your homeschooling game every week. If you're interested in that, there's a link to the course right below. Otherwise, wait for the next video. Thanks again. This is Caleb at homeschool-curriculum.org.